Hey everyone, welcome back to He Who Is Nuts About Cards, otherwise known as Tragic MTG. And today we're not doing MTG, we are doing the other box of Avengers Endgame um, cards that I bought from Upper Deck. Um, this is all about um, signature cards, autograph cards, and sketch cards, and parallels, and just fun stuff like that. So from time to time I like to do stuff that's not Magic the Gathering. Um, so let's get into this here. This box was a little pricey. It's like a premium hobby box, right? So the uh, the non-sports, non-game cards are all about the chase inserts. And so that's kind of what we're after today. I'm a big comic book nerd, and that extends to cards, apparently enough to where I will buy a few of these from time to time. Not enough to make an entire hobby out of it, but I am interested in this kind of stuff. So I will now inflict it upon you. Thanks for watching, by the way, uh, if you're even left. Let's see. I think in this box there's only about six packs or something like that. Let's open them up and see how we do. Um, yeah, fun times, right? Just relax and enjoy. It's not stuff and something that you probably see too often if you're watching my channel. But if you're so inclined, let's take a peek. All right, so... I, d I am impressed with how far they've come with these kind of like non-sport cars. They actually have um, like plastic kind of like see-through stuff on the, on each one here. The, the base set, I believe this is the base set. So there's Captain Marvel and uh, War Machine in hologram while they're talking, I think, to um, probably Black Widow during that part of the movie. I know the movie. I've seen it. There we go. Something glowing in Don Cheadle's hand. And it tells you all about it. You can read it right there. What happened at that point of the movie. So that's, it's just funny to me about these kind of cards. It's just like it's a still shot of the movie. And it's there's some stuff that was going on there. This, uh, let me see if I can say this this name right. Digimon Hansu. I'm sure I said it wrong. Uh, fine actor though. And he was in Captain Marvel. Right. And I believe in Guardians of the Galaxy too. And so this is I think one of the, uh, um, the inserts. Avenge the Fallen, right? So the the um, the number is AT, ATF number eight, and it's a shiny, so it's like a chase. And so I think the Captain Marvel, these are inserts as well, right? Right. So you have to like, if you want to make a collection of this whole set, you not only do you need to collect the base set, which are really cool, you have to collect the Avenge the Fallen and the Captain Marvels, and then I guess really all the really chase ones would be the um, the autograph cards and the and the sketch cards that would be autographed by an artist so that is what this hobby is about and I'm not not really about to start getting fully down that rabbit hole but it's just fun so here we go next pack believe it or not I do have some fans that enjoy watching this kind of stuff so I'm gonna keep at it let's see I guess I got the Iron Man version of that one we got uh, Black, uh, Black Widow there with the in the midst of her die job, or is that going back? I haven't seen Black Widow, her standalone movie yet. I don't think it's out. It's the whole coronavirus thing. This is cool. That Spider Man. And he's even got the glove there. So here's the Captain Marvel. It's got like some extra foily stuff on the top. Aha! Look, it's numbered. So that means you know that it's special. It's number nine out of one twenty-five. And it's got some like hologram foil stamping on there. Very cool. So this is what it's all about. You got to get not only now do you have to have the the base version of this set, you have to now collect the parallel special version that's numbered to 125. It would just go on and on, but that's that's a hit, right? So and then we got the Iron Man Avenge the Fallen. There we go. So only four cards in each pack. It can go very quick if you're just busting right through these only looking for the real hits. But I like to take my time. Look, you don't get the double Thanos if you just whip right through these looking for an autograph, right? You can look real close at his purple head and then read all about his deal, which is that. Hawkeye and Black Widow. And then here is... Is this a, an additional, another parallel set? Higher, faster, further, number four from Captain Marvel. Wow. They really know how to get the collectors 
whipped into a frenzy over these. Like, you got to get all of these. There's the Avengers of the Fallen uh, Scarlet Witch, number 10. Man, I don't know. I, I might have to just sink my life savings into these cards so I can catch them all, right? <laughs> just like every other card set out there. Here's yet, yet another Avengers Assemble. is another insert set. So you get two base set. The cool uh, chunky Thor. He's got a new sense of purpose. Stuff from the end there, the Captain Marvel set, and then the uh, and an, another insert set, the Avengers Assemble with Nebula. Very very cool though the the foiling on that looks really nice. Um, I'm running out of room to show off all of my different potential sets that I need to now collect. Will I get anything amazing out of here? I wonder if the numbered card counts as like my big hit for the box. There's Rocket. He's got what, some pin particles there, I think. And the whole stuff of Rocket there. There he is again, talking to Thor. There's a, a picture of Brie Larson from the movie. <laughs> it's just how it is. There's the, the smart Hulk. Looks like he's on the, the cover of Hulk Smash magazine. Avengers Assemble number 8. Collect them all. Next up is my Butterfingers trying to open these packs. So what is going on here? Okay, that looks like they they have Thanos restrained in his little hut when he was hiding out in his other world, right? So, oh, wait, there we go. There's a shadow box parallel. So I think this is a bit of a chase right here. Um, and I think, and that's, there's no other card in the box or in the pack because it, they fool you by, it's a, it's a thick one there. So shadow box two and it's not numbered or anything. It's not signed. So I don't know if that's really a premium. It's definitely different than like the other stuff that I pulled, but there it is. I think that might be my premium one for the, for the box. I think on the box, there's like some kind of guaranteed odds for hits that you would get out of these packs in a box like this but I forgot to read that so there it is more stuff from the movie when they were traveling through time to different places shenanigans ensued it was fun look yet another insert set supreme intelligence number one <laughs> so now you gotta collect that one too and then more events the fallen so you got one two three four five six that's technically part of that so seven individual sets within this one set you've really got your work cut out for you if you want to to be on top of this nebula there's the infinity gauntlet like that one just this one right here is like really cool just to have pictured the gems right there I, i'll bet on the back it's going to tell you all about the gems Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> well, it talks about the gauntlet at least. I thought it was so smart, didn't I? Captain Marvel, the, the the scroll dude who ends up not being a bad guy in the end. And then uh, Thor in the cool kung fu action battle suit there. That was, always, that was fun. All right, last pack here, and then you can be done with this. I appreciate you watching, as always, if you made it this far. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Watch my other nonsense. More Avengers Endgame cards. I only got two of these boxes, so don't expect this all the time. But I do some other non-sports stuff. I think it's fun. Captain Marvel again. And another Avengers the Fallen. Captain America. That does it for that. I guess this is my big winner. I got a couple of little insert cards that are neat. So there you have it. Avengers Endgame from Upper Deck. Fun times. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.